All right, guys, I've been working on my new Freewing F18. Absolutely gorgeous model. Another one from Freewing and Motion RC. Alpha, you knocked yourself out on this one. I like it. Looks good. A um, few things that I did here. I'm actually painting up in a legacy scheme to go with the little FMS you see sitting over there in a the corner, except that it's the different one with the checker tail, which wasn't actually an F18C. Uh, I did make some modifications. Uh, I wanted the receiver back as far as possible, so dull that light there. I've made a receiver hatch, and my receiver is actually mounted underneath here. So, right there, Admiral 10 channel. I don't have any stabilization on this airplane. I'll probably add it later. Uh, but pretty stock off the setup, uh, stock setup right out of the box uh, as per the manual here. Uh, I do have the recommended seven millimeters down from the seam line. Uh, I got from Cracksman Pat, my buddy here. Uh, we put, as he's done a test flight, I haven't flown this yet. I'm still waiting for Cali Graphics to uh, show up. I've had her make a set of custom graphics for here. Uh, Next to that is I've taken one of the Jet Hanger Hobbies plugs for all these guys. They're uh, one tenth scale pilot, even though the. Uh, and replace him and actually servo his head. So he's in conjunction with the rudder, even though he's on a separate channel by himself. Um, I can actually turn him. He's actually running on Ox 2. I am running right off of the blue box, the MCBE. So, I've tested it on the ground. I don't know about flight yet. I've been reading quite a few negative flight reports on it. But, uh, so far here on my Spectrum DX18 with an Admiral receiver, Lemon, rebranded Lemon receiver, uh, 10 channel. Uh, I haven't had any problems, not even so much as a twitch, using the MCBE box here. But, uh, I'm watching that real closely. But, this is my base gray ARF Plus. That I'm painting up in a uh, in the legacy scheme that I really like here. So anyway, pilot heads turn turns move. Right now I'm using all motion RC parts. They've actually got one of their 6,000 milliamp uh, pro batteries in it. Still doing the painting and just about ready. And no, just before guys ask, I am not going to make the wings fold on this one. But uh, believe me, the thought crossed my mind. Beautiful airplane. I like it. I actually uh, was in the Navy. We did Westpac 85. We made the first cruise with these airplanes when they uh, replaced it on the USS Constellation, uh, Constellation. When I was attached to it, Air Wing 14, VA 196. I was working A6 Intruders, but we made the first cruise with the F-18s, which ended up getting grounded about three months into our cruise because of the pigeon strut failure that was remedied real quick. They grounded the entire fleet of F-18s for about four months. <clears throat> but uh, I really like it. Just thought I'd let everybody see what's going on. A few little things I added here just to kind of personalize it. I'm still tweaking and airbrushing right now. But uh, other than a custom pilot, hide the lights here, a little bit of details in there. I actually made an instrument dash that I printed off offline. Yeah, maybe I'll take the canopy off, see it a little better. Some detailing I picked up offline. You'll notice that I also added all the all the rib, all the rivet lines and stuff like that. Some detailing on there. I like the idea that Free Wings covering these areas in plastic. I didn't even know this one was covered in plastic until I went to use my rivet tool on it, and I was like, it's not foam. So that was actually a really nice touch. Kind of wish they had done it to the sides right here as well, so everything that's actually in the cockpit would be covered with a material that doesn't bake in the sun as these normally do and alligator and the cockpit's usually the first thing to go in the sun especially since it's usually a dark color the dash is flat black believe it or not mine's not flat black it's actually painted german dark gray but um, this is what she looks like i just got through finished painting the exhaust on the nozzles i've got to secure the tail hook up i'm actually contemplating an idea to make that on a channel of its own and actually work so I'm sure there's a lot of other guys doing the same thing 
but gorgeous airplane. Right now I've got a set of the free wing F-16 pylons on it. I know they're not correct. It would actually need to cut off, whoops, get my camera back in focus here, cut off this piece right here and then it would actually be correct and then move it to the in, move it to the inboard pylon. But uh, for what I could do right now, I've got all the 3D files that I'll be printing up for it that uh, a lot of the other guys did here and James did with that. By the way, James, so sorry to see your airplane go down. That was a beaut. Uh, we hope to see it back up in the air soon. You did a nice job on that plane. That was really painful to watch it go in like it did. But hey, we've all been there. We've all done it. Best of luck to you and hope you recover from that one. But I'll let that go with this and just a quick overview of Brandon's F-18C from Freewing 90 millimeter. Oh, and for power system, I am actually running a Gecko 55 8 amp U back in here. I'm not running it separate. Uh, because the 8 amp within the BEC on the Gecko upgrade line are really nice and powerful. And that's a 155 amp powering a upgraded in runner motor, the four, I think it's the 4068 1835 KV motor. Uh, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use or not. That's actually pretty heavy back there in the back, the 90 millimeter. Uh, I may end up going with the stock, just 9 blade or 12 blade fan or possibly the FMS 2000 like I've gotten a few of my other planes, but uh, I thought I'd give it a try. But I really like what they did with this plane. They really knocked it out simple. It went together real quick. Um, all the time is spent basically doing little customizations. I'd like to see a set of ordnance set come out for this airplane, at least the Sidewinder missiles and <clears throat> maybe the two sparrows that go on the inside uh, rails next to the tunes. But uh, I'll show some more pictures of this and post in our RC groups. Uh, possibly up on Hobby Squawk. I have trouble getting onto that thread and posting stuff, so I don't go there very much, but I do pop in and check every once in a while and uh, see what it looks like after I've got the Cali decals on it here in about two weeks. Hope you guys have fun. See you guys later. Bye-bye.